Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Smart Notebook templates for text types. These templates enable you to teach your students about a variety of text types and the templates come with the text structure and the language features of the text type already embedded in them. Basically what you do is just put in your text or create the text with the class and then highlight the specific features identified for each text type. Let me show you what I mean. This is the persuasive writing template and into this template I've put a text should children wear hats at school which I've got from this source here. The next slide is already in the template for you and it just tells you the text structure of that text type. So we've got the statement of position, arguments and reinforcement for persuasive writing. The slide after that is just your initial text blank, nothing highlighted at all, just your text. The following slide says right now we're going to look at the first part of the text structure, the statement of position. And on the next slide, now you can do this in a variety of ways. You could have this already highlighted if you just want to tell your students, or if you do it as a discussion activity, I've got my highlighter up here. So we can say, all right, kids, where's the statement of position? Then you could maybe get someone up the board and say, right, I think this is your statement of position, miss or sir and you can discuss whether they're right or wrong. Then the next thing, now this is a template in the, um, this is a slide in the template. Uh, it says, right, we're going to talk about arguments now. And under that, you just put another copy of your text. So basically all you do with this template is you make a variety, a number of copies of your text, and then you highlight the relevant bits. So now we're talking about arguments and here are our arguments. And as I, as I said before, you can have it done already for your students for when you go into class, or you can have this up the top and say, right, someone show me where the arguments are and get one of the kids to come up to the board and say, right, here you go, I reckon that's an argument. After that, reinforcement of position statement, and there it is down the bottom, and that covers the text structure then you've got the language features of that text type. So with persuasive writing, you've got general nouns, technical words, and so on. General nouns is the first um, language feature we're going to talk about. And there we go. We've got a couple there. Now you can say to your students, right, are there any more? Someone come up to the board and highlight some more. And basically, that's, that's how it works. You just go through the different uh, language features now, technical words, action verbs, and so on. It's pretty straightforward, but I'll just show you how you can create it from scratch. Now, the first thing you'll do is you'll figure out which text type you want to use and download that template. To recreate that persuasive writing thing, I'm going to download that persuasive writing template. And when I do, it'll look like this. Here's the first slide. So just insert your title. And if you've got the text from somewhere online, put the source in. OK, I'll just pause while I do that. I've done that. The next slide is blank. Now that's where you'll actually type in your text. Let me pause again while I type in my text. Done that now. Now, as I said, you can create the text with your class or import one to, to model for them. It's up to you how you use it. Now, basically what you'll do then is you'll make a copy, a clone of this slide and then just put it under each of these other slides. Okay, the statement of position, you'll put a copy under that. The arguments, you'll put a copy under that. The reinforcement of position statement, put a copy under that. So here we go. Just right click on your slide and choose clone page in that menu. And that might, that'll make an exact copy of your text. Once you've got that copy, just drag it down under the following slide and there we go. You can see there's a, a, a copy on slide three and then slide five. So under the statement of position, we've got a copy. Then make another copy, a no, clone, I should say, clone, and drag that clone under the next slide. Make another clone and drag it under the next slide. Alright, so 
for each of these colored slides you've got here you've got a copy of your text underneath and then you can start the process of identifying that aspect that you're looking at so we're looking at statement of position here so on the next slide we'll use our highlighter tool and then highlight the statement of position and of course the next thing you look at is arguments so go to the slide after that again grab your highlighter tool you can choose a different color if you like and start highlighting your arguments now as I said you can do this yourself or you can if you want to discuss it with your students you can have the discussion in class and get one of them to come up and use the the highlighter tool to to try and identify that aspect that you're looking at so that's basically it. I hope that explains it well and I hope you and your students benefit from it. Thank you.